All right. It's eight, it's eight o'clock in the morning. Um, I don't know when this video is gonna be posted, but I hope you guys are. Uh, well, I don't even know if I should say have a great day, cause you know it's the beginning of the day, so you probably haven't got anything done. But um, no. Um, you know, I don't have to make these videos, and they also could just focus primarily on fitness and stuff like. You guys are probably wondering, like, why don't I just focus on my bread and butter? And my bread and butter, obviously, would be fitness. Because you guys know how, how no, uh, know by now how much, I, how, how much I enjoy weight training, how much time and effort I put into it. But, um, you know, I think it's important, or at least for me, the great thing about doing some of the things that I do is that I can just naturally do it. So, like, talking about this stuff does not pain me at all because I just naturally enjoy it. So, like... Plus, I already told you guys, I don't have anything else to do, so. But, um, the plan for today is just to try to, like, do as many things as possible. So, what I actually mean, like, um, there's, like, many, I have many days, or, uh, some particular days, where before I go to sleep, I can't, um, sleep. So, I have, like, some thoughts in my head, and one of the most common thoughts is obviously... Um, I'll go to sleep and sometimes I feel like I didn't do anything or I didn't accomplish anything today. And, you know, I, I think it's important, or at least in my opinion, um, you know, there's some days where you might not have anything to do. But ultimately, uh, you can always make up for that. There's always something you can do. At least try to f um, figure something out. So, today the, the plan is... Um, I actually have a lot of things I actually want to do, but um, like I'm gonna start practicing my handwriting again, cause I'm not practicing my handwriting in a while, and my handwriting has been very sloppy. It's always been very sloppy, cause I just don't practice it enough. So I always, I always start, um, I always start reading, start um, handwriting, and start journaling. And then I stop, and then I always stop. Cause I'm never consistent with that stuff. So today. Well, obviously, it's a big thing today for me to just all of a sudden just jump to all those things. And that, you know, that technically you're not supposed to do that. But the way that I'm going to approach it is going to be a lot more different. Instead of telling myself I'll read and study for two hours, I'll study and read for one hour instead. That way I'm just not like jumping straight up to the, uh, just jumping straight up to the point, right? Because one of the problems I had with journaling is there's some, like, Journaling is one of those things where it's like, if you journal in the morning, you might have a, you might struggle with that because you haven't done anything throughout the whole entire day. So you might not know what to write about because you haven't done anything throughout the whole entire day. But if you journal at night, um, for example, that's normally when we're tired and exhausted. So it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, why would I want to do, even just a small exercise like journaling, why would I want to do it at night when I'm already tired? Um, so... The way that I'm going to do it now is, you know, whenever I a journal, I'll try to like, um, what's it called? I'll try to come up with three subtopics and then I have to put on the date and stuff. Like that's, you know, you might think that, you know, the stuff like that is simple. But trust me, guys, there's a reason why whenever you try to journal, you stand there and you never put anything on the paper for like, for like 20 minutes straight because you're probably overthinking it. That's always something I always do, just overthink stuff. But um, that is... Um, my different approach now. Instead of overthinking it, what I'm just going to do when I'm trying to journal is I'm not even going to put on the date, although I probably should, but I'm not even going to bother putting on the date. I'm just going to think of one subtopic that I want to put down. So I might put down like, you know, the, you know, the common most generic ones. Um, what are you grateful for? Or what did I do today? Or how do I feel about today? It's like stuff like that. But I'm not going to pick three of those things because then I have to come up with questions and come up with answers that... Quite frankly, I don't need to come up with the answers. I should just have the answers. It should, basically, the whole entire idea of journaling, in my opinion, is to put down um, what's in your head and what comes to your mind first. Instead of just writing random shit. Because there's no point of writing random shit because it doesn't correlate to your whole entire day. There's, there's no relevance to your whole entire day at all. So, but anyway, yeah, that's kind of my plan. Um, do some studying, reading. Studying, reading, practice, handwriting, journaling at the end of the day probably again. Start that up. And uh, 
one of the most important things for me, at least, is going to be. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna call myself the best of time management because I'm, I'm not the best of time management. But I know for one thing for sure, is you never. I always know particularly like, I always pay attention to the time. That's just how the way I am. I always pay attention to my time, even though I, I might not be the greatest of time management. I always. Like the moment when you start exercising and dieting and stuff, that's the reason why you start to value time more. Because that's the whole entire idea with exercise and working out and stuff. I need to know when am I going to go to the gym, when I'm going to have my first meal, my second meal, my, my third meal, so my breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and when I need to make my protein shake, when do I need to bring my, when do I need to make my um, creatine and uh, make my creatine for my shake, my protein shake, or when do I ha- have to make a protein shake, which is at dinner time. But um, that's kind of like, the most basic stuff, right, is, um, it's kind of like, I don't really want to, um, go to sleep anymore, and then looking back and be like, holy shit, I didn't do anything today, that's just horrible, um, that's just not a great, uh, it's not a great way of going throughout the day, man, so, I have to change that up. If you guys are wondering if I'm gonna bulk or if I'm gonna cut, I'm doing things just like a lean bulk. I'm not trying to gain gain a lot of fat. I'm also not trying to uh, lose a lot of weight either. So I'm just gonna... baseline. I'm at 170 right now because I already told you guys I've lost quite a bit of weight after I got sick. So I'm not trying to get back up to 175, and then I'll just see what happens from there, and then uh, I just take off. I'm gonna re angle my camera. Okay, so for breakfast, oops, table's a bit of a mess, it's alright. For breakfast, I got the eggs, and they put my, the eggs, I got the avocado. Um, I've really been lacking in terms of like water, my water, my vitamin intake. I have not been doing I've not been paying attention to that stuff as much as I should be so I've been slacking in that but um yeah I got magnesium citrate I think it's vitamin C it's omega and calcium d3 I think there's one more thing I'm missing but it's fine but yeah I stuff like this you just gotta it's gonna take you know when I said I got sick the amount of like habits that I lost was actually kind of ridiculous to be honest like just missing those four days or three to four days, whatever it was, just completely messed up the entire, the whole entire um, momentum that I had going on. So now I have to build that back up. And the hardest part, obviously, the first hardest part about when you're sick or when you take a break from the gym or whatever, is you're gonna be very lazy, of course. I mean, probably very lazy, and it feels like it's a lot of effort. It feels like a lot of effort because it's not something that that you do autonomously or what is that word? Um, I think autonomic. That's a, I think that's the that's correct word for that. But it's something that you don't do autonomic. So beforehand, before the break, or before I got sick, going to the gym and just doing all this like basic stuff that seems easy actually felt like a lot of work. Because of the, of the fact that I haven't practiced or at least done these good habits in a while. So now I have to build all this stuff back up. But anyways, I think um, that's going to be it. I'm not going to record the gym workout today because I already told you guys what's up. But I'm going to record the pose down. So I'll do that. I'll also record little bits of me um, reading, writing, studying, whatever I do throughout the day other than just the gym. I think that's also really important, guys. You know, I don't have to record these videos. I also don't have to at least give some give you guys some advice or try to at least get you guys to uh, do some stuff by inspiring you, whatever, if you find this shit inspiring for some reason. But, like, you know, everything that, like I told you guys, everything that you do, um, the reason why... It's, some, like, you might just say to yourself, oh my god, why is journaling so hard? Why is picking up the book so hard? Why is going to the gym so hard? It's because you gotta, those things, you just, you say to yourself, I know it's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna be happy that I did it, because at the end of the day, I feel like I don't, I haven't missed anything. I feel like I've accomplished enough. I don't feel like I'm sitting in bed wondering, like, what the, where did all the time go? What did I do throughout the whole entire day? So, 
just remember it's supposed to suck. Every, anything that you do like this is going to require a lot of time and effort, and both m mentally and physically. But anyways, enough talking. I'm going to eat breakfast, and after that, I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll start the day off with the handwriting first, since it's the easiest. But anyways, I'm going to get out of here, guys. So, catch you guys in a bit. Okay, guys. So, I just finished my 30 to 45 minutes of... 30 to 45 minutes, not an hour, but that's okay. I'm happy that as long as, you know, if you're trying to start something new, you don't need to do, if you say to yourself, you know, I'll do whatever so-and-so um, task for maybe like an hour, an hour. And if you don't do the hour, that's okay. But as long as you start it, that's that's perfectly, like that's good. As long as you're consistent, that's all, all that matters. Like you can fix that stuff later. You don't need to like, for me, if you're gonna do something, right? I always think, you know, I gotta do it perfectly. Um, like kind of what I mentioned before about some um, journaling, right? Touching on what I said before, when you're journaling, you're not um, it's not poetry, and you're not painting the Mona Lisa. You're just putting down what's in your head, and you're putting it on the paper essentially. So that's exactly what this is. Um, it's just a thirty to forty-five minutes practicing handwriting. I did the alphabet. I did the alphabet for like five ten minutes. Then afterwards. I was like, okay, I'm getting bored of just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get bored of just writing the alphabet over and over again. Maybe I'll just use something from my class or some of the terminologies from one of my courses, which is pharmacology. So I just did that. Just got some basic terms, nothing that crazy. There's the alphabet, so some drug terms, classifications, therapeutics, metabolism, diagnostics, clinical trials, pharmacodynamics, efficacy, amphetamine, fentanyl, methadone. Ecstasy, heroin, drugs, those are drugs. And then obviously FDA and DA. If you watch Breaking Bad, you know what that is. Food Drug Administration. But anyways. So. Like. Why do, like, once again. I could just show you guys my bread and butter. Which is the, the gym and fitness and what I enjoy doing. And, it's, and that's also really like what I'm good at too, right? So why would I just, uh, why do I keep showing it? And talking about other things that are not related to fitness and stuff. Because there's millions of fitness influencers that are out there. That will show you things and teach you things. Related to the gym. But they never tell you what what you do outside of the gym. And that's ultimately what matters man. Because this is exactly what David Goggins said. He said um. Or I'm not sure if he said this exactly. I can't remember um. Exactly who I got this from. I think his name is like. John Mark Stevenson. I th hopefully I got his name right. But I'll link his channel below. It's a very good channel. If you you want to find motivation or inspiration or whatever, go to his channel. I'll link it below. Really good channel. He's a he's only 19 years old, but he's an entrepreneur, and he also uh, does fitness too. So if you're, you're looking at advice, don't ask me. Go for, go look at him. But if you you know, I still got good some good advice if you want to watch. But but his channel is definitely way better. I'm just putting that out there. So I'll link his channel below. But um, yeah, like. What exactly is the point of this? Um, you know, what's the point of reading and writing when you live in a modern era where there's computers, electronics, keyboards? Like, won't all this stuff become useless? And, you know, that's a fair argument. But you also got to understand, you know, I don't do just, I don't do stuff like this just because I enjoy it, not necessarily. But I also do this stuff because there's skills in this stuff. Like what I said before about understanding values, self-improvement. It's because in... Uh, self-improvement and, and learning about values and stuff like some of the stuff like this like habits basically in habits you learn skills so this is just another great example and on top of that um, it's kind of like one of those things where I said before um, my video when I talked about blood work it's like okay I, I go to the clinic today I come back and then afterwards I have to go to college and then afterwards I gotta go to the gym but it's like, it's great that I went to the call. Uh, it's great that I went to the clinic and got my butter work right away, and I, I and I got it done. Obviously, yeah, the results are gonna come in like several days or whatever. I googled like how long it takes to get testosterone level uh, check back or results back. They said like roughly several days, so that's fine. But no, that, that's not the point I'm trying to bring. The point I'm trying to bring is like, the earlier you get something done throughout your day, like even if something's just like walking for thirty minutes. As soon as you do that and it's out of the way, you feel like, holy shit, I've accomplished something. 
now it can keep doing more. It's kind of like the thing where, where you like you build momentum. Is essentially what that is. So, regardless of whether or not this is a waste of time, useless, whatever people say, um, it doesn't really matter. It's just once again, like when somebody said in my comments, it's all about consistency. Just it's all about consistency. Just being consistent. But anyways, that's enough talking. Um, I'm gonna get out of here. I'll read for one hour, and then after that, I have to eat lunch. And then I'll go to the gym afterwards. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't think I have anything else. Oh, oh yeah, I have to study too. I've got to study and read. Okay. But anyways, guys, I'm out of here. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Today's been a really solid day. Um, got a lot of stuff done, so I feel good. I don't think I'm gonna go to sleep tonight. I'm um, wondering what have I done the whole entire day, or what I have, what have I done the whole entire day? Right, that's the question, the big question that some of us might uh, think about sometimes when we go to sleep. I don't know, it depends how you are. But um, I'll talk a little bit more about the lift today, since I always, since you guys know, I've been talking too much not about fitness, so we'll talk about the lift today. Um, today was one of the best pumps I think I've definitely gone. You guys can tell by my pull, by my pose down. It's one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best pumps I've gone in a long while. So today was really solid. I did my bench press, and I uh, got to my PR again, my five reps. But obviously there were some little uh, struggles in between. Um, still not at my full strength yet I, I when i was benching right when i was at my third rep um i got stuck midway through trying to re-rack it because i was starting to get fatigued and what i had to do was i had to push through all the way so but i got pretty lucky probably gonna got injured by doing that but um, that's right at least, i'm glad i'm at least pushing myself but obviously guys should be more um careful so bench press right i think i already told you guys this um I don't really count the number of sets, to be honest, because it's like one of those things where it's like, it's, you gotta load it. I think it's in my opinion, I think it's important to load your bench. And then I always always do a drop set. So like I said, guys, I always just load it to 20 pounds, then I load it to 40, 60, 80, 100, that type of thing. Then I drop set down to 75. So that's the bench. Then I have my dumbbell bench press, my overhead press, and I'll do 35 pound dumbbells for the overhead press. I'll do two sets of those. Um, originally, I used to do 30 pound overhead press, but then, you know, I'm starting to get stronger now, so there's really no reason for me to do 30s anymore when I can do 35s. It's not to say that, I, um, it's just, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, um, as you progressively lift more weights or at least increase the intensity other weights are going to become, become less heavier right at least it feels that way so everybody always says but it's very true so if i if i move from a 100 pound bench to a 35 pound dumbbell obviously it's going to feel a lot more lighter so there's like no reason for me not to do those so I did two sets of dumbbell press um the reason why like i don't do so many sets when it comes to like dumbbell work and free weights especially on the days where it's like gym days if i was doing at home if I'm working at home, 
yes, I'm going to do a lot more sets with the dumbbells because there's only I have such a limit to the equipment I have. If I'm at the gym and I have a hundred pound bar or hundred pound bench, you know, a lot of the movements there um, are push movements essentially. That's like exactly what the push day is: chest, tricep, biceps, and stuff, right? So, or maybe not. Uh, sorry, why did I say biceps? But that might be more with uh, pull day with curls and stuff. But triceps and chest, right? Um, you got the chest press, dumbbell press, bench press, like a lot of pressing. Kind of not necessarily they're all the same, no, not necessarily, but the movement in a way is a lot of very repetitive. So for me to just start absolutely ripping through multiple sets of dumbbells is ridiculous, so no reason for me to do that. So I'll just do the bench press, and then I'll do some, because once again, overhead press, two sets of those for 35 pounds. And then afterwards, I think I moved over to the pectoral flies and did 115 pound um, weights on those because I normally do. I don't go past 115. There's no reason for me to because 130 feels super heavy by the time I'm done my other two exercises and movements. So just stay at the 115 and I'll do two sets of pectoral flies. Um... After I do the pectoral flies, then I move over to my chest press. Although I probably should have moved to my tricep extension pushdowns instead, but whatever. I did it. I wasn't thinking. Or it was just convenience. It was closer, so I ended up doing the chest press. And I only did 50 pounds on those on the chest press machine because my arms by that by then were already starting to. I started feeling it basically. I was trying to get, get not so sure sore, but I can feel I'm starting to get tired and fatigued. So I ended up only being able, being able to do 50 pounds on the chest press, which is okay. The two sets of those. And afterwards, moved over to the tricep extension, tricep extension push downs, or tricep push downs, whatever you want to call it. And I did like four sets. I did two sets with the, I don't know all the handles, guys, sorry. I sh technically, I should know the handles, but I did the, the rope where it has like two smaller ropes attached to it. Basically, you guys know what I'm talking about. It has like the little, um, little grips on the side, the little grip spheres, or whatever they're called. The sides they can grip onto, but so um, yeah, I use that handle and I'll do two sets with that handle, and then afterwards, I'll move on to like a straight bar and I'll do a straight bar for, for two sets as well. So that's kind of that. It's I don't do too much weight on that. If I try to do 60, my form completely gets like wrecked. Not to say that, like, as much as I say, like, um, lifting heavy is also important, but so is form. Especially with something like a tricep push down, obviously form is the only thing that really matters on that um, specific machine, really, because you don't want to activate anything else other than triceps. So, it's just like 40 or 30 pounds, 30 to 40 pounds on the tricep extension push downs. I think that's pretty much it. I don't think I'm missing anything else. Um, bench press, tricep extension push down, dumbbell bench press. Chest press machine. Uh, oh yeah, there is also these uh, arm dips. I don't do arm dips anymore, or at least for now. I don't see a reason to because it's one of those things where like I have so much equipment and other machines that I can use instead. Let's say the arm dips are, arm dips are obviously still one of the best things in my opinion. Obviously, it's still really good. So everybody still does them, especially if you add a weight. If you have a waistband, uh, waistband, and you put a uh, not why well, say waistband it's called a belt. If you put a belt on, with the chain on top, with the chain attached to it connected to like a weight one of those plates just go in here and start doing it. obviously i don't even know if i'm that strong enough to, i probably am yeah, maybe i can do like one plate but i don't see it uh it's not necessary for me to do right now well, maybe i was if i'm working at home or working out at home then maybe i'll do that because i have some i'm limited to, once again i'm limited to so much equipment limited to so much equipment so i might um have to substitute and add that to to that but if i'm at the gym there's a ton of stuff there's no reason for me to do that in my opinion so but uh, that's pretty much it. Um, oh yeah, I gotta do uh, one hour setting. I gotta try to fit that in as much as I hate doing it, especially at night. But I haven't really tried to kind of fix it up. So I'll try to finish that. One hour of that. Obviously, my journal. <laughs> you can see, uh, I think this thing is whole entire. I think this thing is completely empty. Yeah, it's only got two pages. This is February 19th, 2023.
So that would have been last year, the beginning of last year, basically, February 19th. This is when I started this journal. It's crazy. Reading for one hour, reading for two, three hours, my to-do list, workouts, make protein shake, module, 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 module one, module two, whatever. On the first page, got quotes. I'll just read one quote. Why not? I got like, I remember, I remember, um, I think I went on YouTube or Google. I was like, what's the best way to make, or how do I, should I journal? And it said like, put on the first page of your journal, put a bunch of inspirational, motivational quotes. So whatever, I'll just read one of them. Why not? One of them says, the greatest glory in living lies not in never not in never uh, failing, but rising every time we fall. So that's um, Nelson Mandela, whatever it's nerd stuff. But but anyways, um, so the journal, right? Like what I told you guys to do, just uh, just make it easy, guys. Don't do once again. You don't have to do anything that crazy. You don't have to come up with three subtopics. Like I'm not grateful for or whatever. You can just start with one subtopic. And then eventually you can start, if you really uh, want to, you can start improving on it and adding more stuff. It's just as long as you do it consistently. So, but uh, I think that's pretty much it. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow I'm going to do the exact same thing again. But um, I'm out of here, guys. I've been talking enough. This video is already long enough. So, I don't know what's going to be uploaded. It's going to be a very late upload.